Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. Welcome, welcome. I'm trying to find myself here. <laughs> I know where I'm at. I'm in Wilkes Bear, of course. Um <laughs> so anyhow, uh welcome. It's Thursday night. Just trying to see what you all are seeing, if I'm going the correct way or not. You just never know with this Facebook thing, I'm telling you. Looks like I'm not. Um, anyhow, as you're coming in, um, let me just twist this a little bit and see if this is any better. See how we're doing with that. As you're coming in, be sure to say hello. Nope, that's not right either, is it? Oh my goodness, technology, technology, close your eyeballs till I get this all straightened out. My goodness, I don't know why it has to be so difficult. I really don't. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have a small screen tonight. That's just what we're going to have here. Small screen. Should just use my iPad like I'm used to doing and seeing comments. Hi, Lori. How are you? Have to do some minor adjustments. <laughs> it seems like Facebook likes to change things every single week. Hi, Fran. Thank you for sharing, Lori. I'm really not thrilled with this. I wonder if I can fix anything. Um, normally you can't. Um, but I should probably just leave well enough alone. Good vacation till Tuesday. Wow, well good for you. <laughs> That's great. I'm trying to flip it around to go sideways. I had... Um, I want to call it a uh, vacation during the week while I, well, that's not, that's not looking right. While I was at work, um, one of the doctors that gives me the most work to do, he, uh, he wasn't in this week. So um, to me, sorry, I'm still adjusting to get it going the right way. It looks like I'm going to be going vertical tonight. Thank you very much, Facebook. Let me just flip you a little bit. So we're just going to have a small little area tonight to work with. So I have a new house code if you don't know. I have a picture of it. You can find it on my Facebook page. Welcome. Welcome, Lisa. So it's good. We have a couple people joining us tonight. That's great. So I hope you all are having a good day. It looks like I'm going the wrong direction. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, my goodness. Trying to get some things done around the house that can't get done when working. Hoping to get some cards made too. Oh, I hear you there. Sometimes though I find out when I when I have a day off though. Um oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm still I'm still upside down, people. <laughs> Alright, let me try one more thing. Hold on. I know if you're getting a headache, I apologize. I'm just trying to I think this is this is just the way it's gonna be. Um Sometimes I find out when I take a day off, I get involved in my crafting. And um, I don't really get done when I need to get done. So, um, working on wedder, wedding shower invites. Oh, well, that's fun, Lisa. Is somebody um, immediate getting married in your family? So, I do. anyhow, I do have a new host code. It's XXWA3VA2S. Am I okay now? I can see it up here. It looks good. But for some reason, I'm going to close the tablet out. And I think I'm just going to use the iPad. So anyhow, just want to remind you of that. If you place an online order of $35 or more through my online store and use the host code, you will receive the March PDF Demo Design Dream Teams product projects for free. And I'll email that to you. Um, an email. Your daughter 
is in wedding. So helping her with the shower. Oh, that's nice. Let me just close that out. Does everything look okay, guys? So um, let me know. Um, I also want to point out some of the upcoming events I have going on. So this is my Facebook page. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see upcoming events. <clears throat> so this Sunday, um, just looking to see if any comments. Let me know if I'm going the right direction or not. And you probably can't really see this. But this Sunday, I have my uh, celebration stamp and bingo. Kind of held off until March, thinking that February was going to be a horrible month, which it turned out to be weather-wise a fine month. March is kind of like spring, so I'm hoping Mother Nature cooperates just for one more week, because um, Sunday, well, not even a week, a couple days, next week, um, Sunday is uh, on the 15th of March is my uh, bingo, and I do have a couple seats remaining. I'm upside down. Okay, thank you. Um, let me try to see if I can fix it. Um, where was that thing? Okay. Um, let me know if that's any better. Um, so next Sunday is the bingo. And like I said, I have a few seats remaining. Um, am I still upside down? It still is. Well, let me just log on here and let me see what I see. Um, because there's a, a delay in from when you type it and when I did something. Um, you missed out, however, if you still want to attend on saving $10. And um, you, I may not have um, your goodie bags if you sign up last minute. So that would have to be something I give to you. Okay, let me see what I'm seeing here. Okay, well that, it's looking, oh my goodness. I look like I'm going the wrong direction though. It says, you said good. Thanks for sharing, Nancy. But I look like you can't, my words are backwards, correct? Let me try that. These buttons on here are so confusing. There we go. Okay. This so I probably won't be posting this on YouTube just because it's too goofus the way I am in the beginning here. So let me get rid of that. Um, let me see where the comments are. Okay. I'm okay now. It's good. Good, good, good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Give me the thumbs up. Yes, I appreciate that. Okay. So let's get started. Um, I apologize for going vertical. Who knows why? Um, anyhow, I just have a smaller spot to work in, and that benefits me because you don't see all the mess around me, right? <laughs> okay, let me just tipsy a little bit more, and then we are good. So, um, you got your stamp set. Oh, great. Um, thank you, everybody, um, for joining me, taking time out of your busy day. I promise you I will try not to take a very lot of your day uh, time out of your day um, but we are now into March this is the final month of celebration and um, with that came out some new items added during March um, one of them is this real beautiful flowering foils specialty designer series paper which we've had ones like that in the past I don't know why I'm not seeing comments okay so um, it's 12 by 12 in size 12 sheets with the $50 purchase. You can choose that for free. We also have, and here we go, try to fit this in the small area, the Rise and Shine stamp set, which is what I'm going to be focusing on tonight. Um, yeah, we'll get into that in a little bit. But this is a set of 15 stamps, and the, the photopolymer stamps are reversible. So you can get, you know, the coffee cups to go the other way. You can also get one that has a little flower design and then the other side is just um, solid. Even these little tea bags, you can get them to go left or right. The flowers, one will have the little center and the other won't. Um, this little thing right here, you can use that for a raindrop, but I believe it's meant to be a leaf to go with the flowers. You get another flower that's reversible. A lot of great sayings, the little steam, um, there's a saying here that says coffee, there's one that says tea, let's hang out soon, X's and O's, make today amazing, 
um, rise and shine and you got this but first and you can fill that in with coffee tea or make today amazing you know or you got this but first let's hang out soon i mean i don't know you can use it in a, big, a lot of combinations anyhow we have another stamp set called um well dressed which is great for the guys we're always looking for something for the guys right and that's free with the $50 purchase. And then we have So Very Vellum Specialty Designer Series Paper. And it's colored vellum with embossed designs. You get six sheets, two of each of three colors, which are Pool Party, Purple Posy, and Soft Sea Foam, which is great. They have a lot of great ideas in here using this. You can view this entire catalog along with all the other catalogs through my online store at stampinsucreates.stampinup.net. And if you wish to place in an order, be sure to use the host code 35 or more. We'll get you the free PDF file for this month with has amazing projects in it. There's um, the tags in bloom, which coordinates with the punches. It coordinates with the label me fancy punch and the label me lovely punch. So a lot of great sayings. That's free with a hundred dollar purchase. And then we have what we first started out with. Except when a few items are sold out, the kerchief card kit, metallic baker's twine and sequins, and the golden honey specialty designer's paper, which just sold out. So I knew that that was coming. They kind of warned us. But we still have a lot of great sets. And, um, of course, it's always a great time to join Stampin' Up! for $99. You can choose anything in your kit that you want for $125. You get this cute little... And where is it? Um, I always have this on my desk anymore. This cute little paper cutter that there's no other way to get this but by signing on to be a demonstrator. You get a package of designer series papers, an all assortment of ones in the mini catalog, and you get an additional stamp set of your choice, which could be anything. So my thought is, you know, go big. Um, and get the most expensive one and then you get from there on you also get a paper pumpkin kit you'll get catalogs and business supplies if you choose to use them or not totally up to you hand them out you never know um, if you just want to be a personal shopper and just sign up for the discount stampin up is perfectly fine with that um, so upcoming events is the bingo on the 15th of March um, I also have the last Wednesday of each month is my birthday card club, which is actually a class that I have here in my home. I have a fun event planned in May. It's a Stampin' Spa Day, which is going to be so much fun. I'm already starting to get plans, get got together for that. And it's lunch is going to be included and um, a course of goodie bag and stamping and just a lot of fun. So um, check out those events. I'm doing um, some classes up at Crestwood Area School District in April. It's going to be on Tuesdays for four weeks. So that flyer, it's called CASE, Crestwood Area, what is it, Crestwood Area Community Education, I think. Um, so I have that if you're up in the area here in the Wilkesboro Scranton area, that's up in Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. So I'm going to be doing that. And um, a craft show up at St. Jude's on March 28th. A lot of fun. Um, I'm going to have, of course, my cards that I sell for only a dollar each and a lot of embroidery things. If you have been following me on my personal Facebook page. I just posted today a blog that I started with the sweet, um, what did I call it? Sweet bee embroidery. And um, I'm just having a lot of fun with that. So um, follow me over my personal page too, uh, Susan Baratia Timchak. Um, unless it's linked here. I don't really know if it is or not. Anyhow, so thanks for joining me. Um, I know President Trump is here in our area tonight. But you could watch him later. <laughs> I'm only coming on now, right? So I thought I would focus on the Rise and Shine um, Celebration stamp set, which is free with a hundred dollar purchase. While supplies are last, that's one thing. Important, important. Things tend to run out. Um, just a little quick word on that. Being with this whole uh, coronavirus and things 
are a lot of our things that are accessories are manufactured in China. We have quite a back order of things. So I apologize for that, but I'm sure just like every other company in the world that buys things from China, things are being held up. But we do manufacture our own stamps and our own inks and um, some of our own things, our, our papers. But the thing is, when it gets down to it, you know, really, where do some of those other supplies that are used to create the things we make here come from is probably China. So, um, you know, definitely I'll keep you posted as to what's on back order, what's on not. And if you go to order something, it will it will tell you whether or not it's available or there's a wait list or to be determined. But you can always contact me, shoot me a message, and I'll let you know if there's a date or not. So when I first thought, um, as being a demonstrator, we can pre-order these things. So I know you guys have to earn them with your with your purchase, but being a demonstrator, we can actually pre-purchase these. So um, this was one I thought I would pre-purchase. The other ones I figured, well, I can just get, you know, I'm always throwing in $50 orders, you know, for supplies, which I only, I pay 20% less than that to get them. So this was a hundred dollar one so i thought you know i'm gonna get this one i really like coffee tea hot cocoa things but you know what to be honest with you when it came i was kind of like i'm dumbfounded as to what to do so stamping up demos to the rescue right i have a couple demonstrator friends and i wanted to check out what they were doing i thought they had some great ideas now when you open this up um this is what you're going to see this is printed on here um, the images. So what I did is I just took it off that paper and I just stuck it right to the case and I put the protective piece over it. And this will just show you what the stamps are, but the cover will show you all the designs you can do with it. So it might be a little like, I don't get this. There's 15 stamps. So when I open it up, there aren't. It's because they're double sided, except the words, the words are backwards, but the cups and the flowers and the little tea bags, those are all um, double-sided stamps. You clean it and flip it over and use the other side. So anyhow, um, it's photopolymer. So I'm gonna bring in my little um, um, pierce mat. Um, I also, at times, instead of using the pierce mat, I found myself using my silicone mat when I couldn't find this. We know how that goes, right? So I thought I would start off, I have three cards to share and then a couple that I just kind of whipped up together. But like I said, when I first got this, I was dumbfounded as to um, what to do with it. Because it just didn't seem to flow to me as to what, what to do. So I'm going to use um, the ink colors, uh, gray granite and balmy blue. So I'll put them there in case I forget to tell you. I have a piece, oh, what is that? Well, I'm gonna cover that. See when you get a smooch like this, we're gonna fold it and that's gonna be totally covered. So I have your standard card base, which I know I always um, tell you, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So my bone folder right here. So that's going to be my base. The base is um, the balmy blue, okay? Then I have a piece of um, flirty flamingo, and this piece is cut at four by five and a quarter, okay? And see, that's gonna go right over that smoosh thing. Let me go use this one. Then I have a piece of uh, the designer series punch paper, the please, I think it's called please this punch. It goes with our punches in the uh, catalog. And I thought this kind of reminds me of um, the flower that we have in the Rise and Shine. And I like all the springy colors. Like who's ready for spring? I certainly am. So I want to go ahead. Gray granite looks like the same color as tea with milk in it. Uh, hmm, maybe. Um, I don't know. Do you, do you mean Mary like through through the screen here like in person it actually it looks more like gray um tea with milk in it is kind of tannish to me in my eyes everybody's eyes are different but you know um it, it's a nice soft color it's it's not a deep hard harsh gray i don't know if i'm using gray or not i may be using gray but um anywho just adhere to that 
And I always like using my multi-liquid glue and um, this little tool that I purchased off Etsy. I'm always like throwing a giveaway in for that. The little tipsy, which is great to hold your bottle so that your glue um, is always ready to go. You do get little glue globs down at the bottom, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, and I have a piece of this ribbon which coordinates with our current in colors. And um, an FYI about that, the um, ink colors that will be retiring um, are the ones that are the Lovely Lipstick, the Call Me Clover, Pineapple Punch, Grapefruit Grove, and Blueberry Bushel. These will be retiring. So an FYI, um, if there's any of those colors, markers, ooh, there's a little dust there, or embellishments, that you're interested in getting. Do not hesitate and get them now. So this is coordinating ribbon that goes with the current ink colors that are going to stay for another year. And this goes with the Seaside Spray. You know what? This, this cardstock isn't balmy blue. I apologize. It's Seaside Spray. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I pulled the wrong color. Yeah, let's put balmy blue back. Although the color doesn't look too bad with the card, but we'll see how this one looks. So I'm going to use my snail adhesive because I want to just put this little snippet on the left. I had to double check, make sure I'm in the right way. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that. And um, I always like to get the coordinating product products that go with the colors because you know, look at just that little bit on there just adds a whole lot. And I didn't use the um, the liquid glue. I think I'm going to need a new liquid glue soon. Um, because I wanted that to hold down. What the heck? While it's... Um, while I glue it. Because otherwise it would be flipping up. Because it doesn't glue instantaneously. Re one of the reasons of why I like the liquid glue is you have moving time with that. So, anyhow. Put that there. Okay, so that's our card base so far. So let's put that aside. Now let's bring in, um, we're gonna do a little bit of layering. And look, I got that on there too. I'll use the other side of that. We'll just pray that when I stamp it, I don't have to flip it over. It must have been from being in, like I use these little, these little bins from Dollar Tree to put my projects in to have them organized. So it must have been something with that. Who knows? I have a piece of Whisper White, which is, um, one of the best things about SU is how their products coordinate. Yes, that's very true. Very true. I have a piece of Whisper White cut at two and three quarters by three and a half. And then my favorite color, Gorgeous Grape. I just love it. It's cut at three by three and three quarters. So that's going to do a nice little layer there. Okay, so let's do a little stamping. I mean, I've been chit-chatting enough here. We're all here for the stamping. So we're gonna try the Seaside Spray. I'll show you the previous card that I did do with the Balmy Blue. Um, but no, this is definitely Seaside Spray. So I'm gonna use, like I said, the little uh, pierce mat. Oh, now let me show you before I do that. Let me bring in a piece of cardstock. So here's the stamp that has the little flowers on it, okay? So the way when you look through it, what you see is what you're going to get. So um, this is going to be, when I ink this up and I stamp it, let me bring my pierce mat. And I have mine cut in half because I had one for stamping, one for piercing. And I didn't want to buy two of them, although I think I have two of them. So when you stamp with this for the first time, of course, I've used this already a few times. But when you receive your stamps, when they're photopolymer and the red rubber ones, they have a little bit of a coating on. So my suggestion would be to stamp a few times with it before you do your actual project, just to kind of condition it and get it ready for the ink. And then, of course, you know, press down into your ink pad, make sure you have it well inked and you can normally see if it is. And then press it down on your paper. And um, this is going to be the solid one now. Press down and hold it there for a little bit. Give it time to absorb into the paper. And then peel it up and there you have a little cup. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean this and I'm gonna show you. Now, I'm gonna take the stamp and I'm gonna flip it over. And FYI, ooh, 
that's on there tight. Um, I put these on here last night after I was um, doing some stamping. F another FYI is, um, what was I going to say? Mm, uh, I was going to say something. What else was I going to say? Um, okay, well, maybe it'll come to me. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. So definitely condition them. Um, and, oh, look, it came right off the stamp. <laughs> I guess it was still a little wet. So now when I go to stamp this, oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, if you remember the holiday catalog had the, uh, I think it was called Cup of Cheer with the coordinating framelits. If you got those framelits, go dig them out because they work perfectly to cut out the coffee cups. So now I'm going to do the other side. And when you look through there, you'll see when you first press down, it kind of like, it's like when you put cellophane over something where it kind of like, woo, or when you're putting a new cover on your cell phone and how the cover kind of goes and just kind of spreads out. Same thing with the ink. So when you look through there and it looks like it's a good, um, nice, solid image, then hold on to your paper because, of course, they're, <laughs> they're sticky. All right, well, here we go. And there is the other side of your stamp. I don't know what is up with this. Let me try to clean my block. I know my blocks are kind of gross. Um, here's another tip. Um, I use these hand sanitizers, and I know they're hard to come by now, but I have a, a whole bunch of them from Bath & Body Works. They are great to use to clean your stamps because they have alcohol in them, of course, and alcohol is great for cleaning. So I'm gonna clean this before I put my stamp back on so I don't lose it. I'm just wiping it in my pants. I have my jammies on, so, you know. Okay, so now I want it to go like this. So this way. So it's no big deal. So if you do have the dies, it will cut them out. I never bought the dies. Now I'm wishing I did, but I didn't, so. But you still can get them. They are still available. They were a carryover item. Um, I think it was called Cup of Cheer. The stamp set and the dies are still available. So if that's something you want, um, you might want to look into that. If you have a, an electronic cutting device, you know, you can always, like a scan and cut, can always use that to cut it out. But the dies are so much more fun because they come with so many other things. Okay, so I'm going to do my little cup. There we go, look how cute. See, a little bit of the cleaner on there and you're good to go. Okay, so next up I'm going to, I think I'm done with that, I'm gonna close it up, put it back in my basket. Actually, I'm gonna put it right here in my little store in case. I'm gonna bring in the gray granite and I put all the stamps on here ahead of time so I didn't have to fuss. I'm using the one that looks like the steam and because they're photopolymer, you can see through them. So I'm just going to stamp that on top and look how cute that is. So like I said, I don't have the dies and you know, that's okay. Um, I can fussy cut, which one of the cards I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to fussy cut. So you can do that. So that will get layered onto there. I have another small little scrap piece. This one is cut at three and a quarter by one half. And I wanna use the stamp make today amazing so I'm going to stamp that right on here okay and it's a big difference when you're using this little cushion underneath so definitely you know if you have something you can use as a cushion I would say definitely definitely use it okay so let's go ahead um, where are my dimensionals Okay, so let's go ahead and complete the rest of 